Yu-Gi-Oh players! In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to destroy Ryzeal with Ryzeal. How to properly play the deck and how I'm gonna win YC of Sanaheim. So let's get straight into this video. Before we do, make sure to subscribe to the like button. Make sure to tell Digimon players yu gi -Oh's better! Yu-Gi-Oh or Digimon? Champions. I can't refute with that. I think that's actually part of their that. song. Let's go! And before we get into this video, I would like to welcome you all to the Rise Hill Masterclass. It will be Thursday, November 29th, 5 p.m. Where I'm going to spend seven hours educating all you, Professor Triff style. Absolutely, everything you need to know about the deck is going to be shown in this video but especially the master class we're gonna spend seven hours teaching everything about it so make sure to go sign up so far i have 96 points i'm gonna be teaching you guys and we're gonna be dueling every single person that comes to the master class live i'm gonna be asking every single question you have to prepare you guys for yc centerheim i'm gonna be showing you guys revealing the two deck lists that i've been hiding one of which i'll be using as actually yc centerheim because i love you guys too much and i've been away for so long i was gonna price it at hundred dollars per master class I decided to drop that down to only $33. So make sure you go sign up down below. I'm going to be sending a uh, the entire recording to everyone who signs up if you can't make it. It'll be Thursday, November 29th, 5 p.m. Eastern time. As you guys see, this is my opening hand. And I had some incredible duels with L way less here. And he's going to be playing Ryzeal. I'm going to be playing Ryzeal. We both have different versions. I'm going to show you lots of duels. How to properly win against a deck. So what you want to know about Ryzeal on the base of combo is every single one of the nine starters ends on literally full combo it ends on multiple plus it ends on dreadnator and if you do it properly it could also end on a baguska that way your opponent must basically the mirror match use the aggregator get rid of the baguska but then you got the dreadnator three with the field spell and a bunch of interrupts five hand traps is what for so i'll show you guys now ice raziel each of the combo lines are different what you want to hit is you never ever 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 want to hand trap any of the raziel main deck monsters ever unless it's a simplified game state with two cards three cards each What you want to do is you want to save your hand trap for none other than the main card of the deck, which is Ryzeal Dual Drive. Now, this is the card that's able to get the most advantage. It's at draw two, search two, basically. And it works like the Genic Sprite where you can go so great it needs to remove. You can then bury it on effect and it still will not resolve. So that's one thing to note because it is once per turn. On summon, this Ryzeal Dual Drive is able to attach a monster from the graveyard, a Ryzeal monster. I do not have a Ryzeal monster currently. A cool play you could do is use X Ryzeal from your hand to send a Ryzeal monster to then attach it, but then you're not going to send the egg to later to attach it as an extra interruption. A layered interruption your opponent cannot really deal with. So what I do here, some people like to protect the Dual Drive with Rafflesia or with the Photon card to protect it from targeting or being destroyed to play around Baylor and Ghost Ogre, but that plays really hard into Nibiru and Ash. So I'm going to play, especially because I have Ash, Imperm, and Small World in my hand. I'm going to start with Dual Drive and actually let him interrupt it. I know my opponent is going to hand trap it. If you don't hand trap the Dual Drive, I'm assuming you have zero hand trap. So I'm going to just let him go uh, interrupt it, actually. And he goes over it, which is fine. On resolution, I'm going to summon X Raziel. And I'm going to keep going here, despite my strongest card getting, hand, getting hit. Then I'm going to go into Dugaris. Because there's some with Dugaris, you're basically able to get a free node Ryzeal. I like going Dugaris almost every single time with Ryzeal, whether I get hand trapped on dual drive or not, as long as I'm not under Prosp. This allows me now to get extra layered interruption against my opponent, because if my opponent is not beating my board on his turn, me not being able to draw doesn't matter. He veilers my Dugaris, and it works out perfectly. Because now I'm able to simply summon my node Ryzeal, send the Dugaris, which is basically useless at this point, and get my Detonator through Ghost Ogre and Veiler, and keep in mind I have double hand trap. It's very difficult for any deck to get rid of Detonator and double interrupt, because what Detonator does, it's like Zodiac Dryden on absolute steroids, because it's it's not once per turn. So you're able to activate Detonator's effect up to three times per, up to five times per turn, even five materials, as many times as you like. And even if my opponent stops it with like his own X Ryzeal, by sending the aggregator, which is a cool way for you to stop the opponent. You have a layered interrupt, so you could even cost send aggregator to negate something on his turn, and you have the double hand trap. So it's very difficult to stop this deck once it gets going, and we only have the follow up with Small World, which the Small World's so good in this deck because without playing any bricks, basically every card in your deck could, could get to every single card. 
What I'm going to do here is a pretty cool play. He's going to go into Ice Rise Heal. I'm going to activate the effect of Detonator to pop it. And then Chain Link 3 Imperm to negate it. So not the last, as a chain resolves, Imperm will negate the card. And then you Detonate it. I recommend doing this every time when you end up with Detonator and some card like Veiler Imperm. To get the card entirely out the field and to stop the effect. Yes, you could save this for uh, his duo drive but going second the opponent will never go into duo drive going second the opponent is going to try to go into baguska or detonator itself which then poses as a much bigger threat in this scenario he's going to chain cross out designator and this is severely going to hurt my strategy but i don't even care i'm going to allow that to resolve uh is going to allow him to trigger the card and i have my detonator in this scenario i do have a few options i could ash his card if i like or i could pop it i decide to ash it Simply because I'm going to put it on, on You Better Have It. And with this many cards, I actually expected him to even have an extra hand trap, some extra stuff. He's going to go into Small World here and go into the card he wants. I'm going to chain Detonator to pop, uh, putting him in a very tough situation now where he's going to have X Ryzeal, but there's no play he could do because I'm just going to pop that, even if it's chaining to Egg, and there's just no play he, he has. He'll be able to search, but this is where I made the, the slight error, but he can't really do anything because his goal there was to make sure that I didn't have any follow-up. And what this deck does, you have about 18 starters. I play 18 starters, most play about 15, 16. You need to play small world and pop because the deck doesn't have, like 15, 16 is not a lot, but they, you don't even have an ability to play more. I love both Moltrimis in this deck because they're level four. So in weird hands, you don't have a normal summon, you get special and then normal. And your opponent doesn't expect that. But going second, this hand's absolutely absurd. My opponent also has a very good hand, which is with D Barrier. Ghost Ogre, Small World, Full Combo. I'm going to stop him, obviously, with Perilla. But he has D Barrier. With D Barrier, there's not much I could do. He does a great play here where he doesn't even let me draw a single card. Amazing play here. Because his D Barrier is going to absolutely wipe me. I really firmly believe that we need to post side deck, side deck, cross out Decinator with D Barrier. Because D Barrier is a full turn skip. So I'm thinking on ways how to play around D Barrier in this deck. But you simply can't. Your extra deck doesn't allow you to go into any card other than XYZs, rank 4 XYZs, once you start playing. So your opponent's not randomly going to go D-Barrier standby phase. He's going to wait for you to commit two level fours, and then they're going to do it. By which that point, you already used one of the adds, and anytime you use one of the adds or special summon, well, anytime you use a special summon on any card, you're locked, not the adds. See, we're going to use a special summon of the card. So unless you start off with Ice Razeal, you're not actually able to, to link. I might, if I see a set, try to do my best at Barnfire or normal Ice Razeal to begin. Because if they debarrier at the end, at least you could still link summon something. So I don't know what that could help in any way, but it is difficult. He's going to debarrier here, and you're left with no choice but to pass. Uh, I have Imperm Veiler and Nibiru, so we'll see how this goes. One thing to note about the Nibiru, and I'm sending out so much knowledge for you guys here to understand. I played so many matches with this deck. I think alone versus Whaleless, I played around 10 matches alone. I probably have dueled upwards of 100 plus match with this deck already one thing to note about the deck is nibiru does conflict a little bit if you have a monster that is not a level four or rank four you are not able to trigger the add effect of xy seal you're able to play around everything else but if you have a nibiru on your field or a token the xy seal is not able to actually add anything the same works when you give your opponent a token so keep that in mind that's why you need to play donner the link two in your deck to get rid of your nibiru's anytime you like and nibiru is such a high value hand trap when paired with any single other hand trap, could be Valor, Imperm, Ogre, Ash, whatever other hand trap you like, Nibiru becomes a god card in this deck against the any other meta deck this format. Just make sure to use it correctly. One cool thing about the field spell as well to help you play around Nibiru is if they have the field spell, they're able to play around your Nibiru very, very well on resolution, but you're never going to allow them to get the field spell unless they hard draw a one of card in their deck. Their duo drive will never, ever, ever, ever resolve. When you play 20 hand traps or 25 post side deck, which you're capable of doing, the opponent has no chance to activate duo drive because it's going to stop it entirely. I'm going to let my opponent play here because I want my Nibiru to go off. Here's, you guys see this exact play right here. He went very, like, you go greedy or not greedy. A lot of people are going to be on this card, Starleash Photon Blast Dragon. This card is absolute dog shit. I'm going to tell you why. If you go into this play you see right here, you have no other play. If you get Ash or Nibiru, you get destroyed. Like, you, you get destroyed. There's no other play you could do because there's no, uh, at this scenario, most of the times you'll have Node, Node Rise in your hand to go for follow up. However, you have no Rise in your graveyard. So no Ryzeal is not capable of resolving its effect to get a card in the graveyard. Unless you have an extra Ice Ryzeal, which is pretty difficult to do when you're having this many monsters on the field already. Like, you only have a finite number of monsters you're able to have, even through all the searches. So in this scenario, if I Nibiru or Ash, he's done. If I Ash him, he's passing. If I Nib him, 
I then put him on summoning node, but I live in Primvalor. So for one card, Nibiru, I got to get rid of his entire combo here. He played hard into it while, but however, he is playing around Imprim. The second dual drive gets summoned, Star Leash Photon gets 2000 attack, and this card doesn't. But in this same likely, likely scenario, even if you don't have Nibiru or Ash and you have two of Imprim Veiler Ghost Ogre, what you do is they're, the second they summon Star Leash Photon Blast Dragon, and there's two other level fours in the field, they're making Ryzeo dual drive right after. So in that scenario, you immediately, before dual drive gets summoned, you Imperm or Veiler the Star Leash Photon Blast Dragon, because the second dual drive gets summoned, this card goes to 2000 attack and becomes unaffected. For those who don't know what this card does, any monster with 2000 or more attack cannot be targeted or destroyed by opponent's card effects. And dual drive adds 200 attack to your, all your monsters immediately upon summon, because there's two materials. So if you want to stop your dual drive, you got to do that. Oh, no, or in this scenario, I'm going to wait for him to act, resolve the dual drive effect, and then I'm going to chain Nibiru and absolutely obliterate him in this scenario. But in this scenario, what can you do? Node, he's going to send a card he needs. Then I Valor, even save an Imperm in case he decides to send an Ice Rise Deal or something like that from his hand, lose his entire field. All he's going to have is just one Dread Detonator. And I'm just going to Imperm on my turn and kill him. So I'm saving the Imperm for that, and what do you know, he's going to go exactly for that play. Bonfire, the Ice Raziel, send his last card, and just like that, I made him get rid of all this. See that? I, I only use Nib, and I use Valor on Node, and now I'm going to use my last Hand Trap to stop him. This is how you properly use your Hand Traps, uh, just like that. I now Imperm, and I just full combo easily. This is how to properly play this deck. you got to play it smart, because if you do, you're going to be able to outplay your opponent very well. I play Castell. Or 101, Castell or 101, I do believe is mandatory because Detonator is able to protect the secret effect. If an extra Z control is destroyed, Battle Card Effect detaching instead. So at Ignister, the rank 4 doesn't even stop this card. So having one card like Castell or 101 is, is actually very good in this format. And it's much better, literally better than Dweller in this extra deck because D Dweller does not hurt anything next format. It legit doesn't hurt shit next format. I guess you could still put it in in case you play some other decks like Fire King. However, everyone's gonna be on Ryzeal or Malice, which Dweller does nothing against. Castell or 101, I believe is mandatory going second in my 100 matches with this deck. Just like that we won. I'm gonna show you guys one more match here, super fast. I think the first one really showed you guys a lot. I wanna show you guys this one because you're gonna get hands like this. I play 18 starters in my deck and I'm close to playing 19. So I play, you know, the nine, I play node, and then I play three small world, three pots, and three bonfire. People don't even play pots or the small world. You need to play as many as you possibly can until we get seven tachyon. I'd even play more if possible. So instantly I pass, I go first. It's okay. I main deck 20, 18 hand traps, 20 hand traps. Six of them are more charmies. I'm okay with passing turn one, knowing that my opponent will be passing back to me because of all the more charmies we play. Perulia next format against our deck is absurd. They're gonna it's either act as a like draw two draw, or act as pass, or act as draw four. All three of those scenarios, it operates almost like maxi. So I'm he passed. Sadly, I mean I have 18 starters in my deck. I guess I'm not cool enough to draw any. He's gonna go into that. I'm gonna save my Fualos, and I, I need to draw here. I actually need to draw. So I'm gonna allow him to play here. I'm gonna go. I hope I know he's gonna let me draw one. I hope he actually. I think what I would do here. I actually. This is, I find this a misplay. I actually should not have Fualos here. I should have let him search two, and then found a way to resolve Nib and Fualos after, because he would have summoned Ice Raziel eventually. Uh, Cause I need. If I was him right now, I'm going Detonator Pass. So this puts me on two cards, and even then it's tough to play because I need two starters, basically. So I'm going to need to draw one more starter here, not just a Bonfire. We'll see if I get it, and I don't. One Bonfire will not be enough, but X Rise and Egg is crazy. The draw really hurt, but what X Rise Heal does is you're able to do a cool play. If the field spell is not on the field, you're able to send the rank 9 XYZ aggregator to negate the fact of Detonator and X Rise Heal. So if the field spell is not up in this scenario within the Hand Trap game, uh, it, it acts really good because X will then get throwed, this will pop that, and then you just fully play like normal. Where it makes it without, this is why it's vital that you play a bunch of hand traps in this meta to stop the Arisial deck from getting the field spell. I uh, pass in this scenario, I felt my only scenario of if he plays it to Nib, and that's just game, just like that. So I'm down 1 0, I'm going uh, first now. I want to show something else the, the addition of cards like Cross a Designator, Thrust to Set D Barrier called by going first is incredibly easy if your side deck is made perfectly i got perulian here he would have drawn four cards but i'm not gonna allow that happen because across a designator post side deck i play one perulian one fualos and able to remove the other four for other cards like cross of called by and some other stuff as well i actually put every hand trap in my deck down to one post side deck with the exception of ash i put at three every hand trap in the game will be at one post side deck for me with three cross of called by one talents 
two thrust or three thrust if I can, a D barrier and three Ash. Because Ash will play around the Mocharmies. So you have about seven cards that are able to play around uh, your opponent's hand traps. I allow him to go Zoga this again. If you guys remember game one prior, I'm allowing him to. Because if I, I play way too hard into Nib and Ash, if I went into the Star Leash card, which I don't even want to play. I played it for a bit, I don't even want to. Because I have no, do you see this? Look, he's forced to veil this again. I'm going to put him on three cards. If he doesn't veil it, I'm going to have too much advantage. Wallow does nothing for me. So Dugaris is actually extremely powerful. I firmly believe if you don't drop Prosperity, you should go Dugaris every game. See, it got Ash. No problem, bro. Absolutely no problem. I'm going to go Node into this. And then I'm going to hit with Nibiru. Unfortunately, I got hit with Nibiru. But I got rid of four cards from my opponent. I have a follow-up, a very good follow-up. So now I got to basically hope that my opponent has... Uh, does not have uh, the starter. He could have X Rizo because X Rizo doesn't let him add. He gets bonfire, he gets ice, and then I lose the game here. I want to show you guys as well a match with both of us because he's seeing all this as well, just as I am. And of course, you needed one more hand trap. Our hand, like if this, this you play this one for cross out and to four hand traps, you can't do anything. This is why this deck's so powerful. You're able to play Mulcharmi, Ogre, Ash, Nibiru, Ice Razio. How could you possibly play around that you cannot? And he has two starters on top, so. This deck's absolutely phenomenal, so I firmly believe you guys should know. I have more de more decks there, but that's about it for this video. I'm going to show more duels for you guys. Absolutely broken first or second. That's what this deck does. It's, imagine, Sprite on crack. This deck's absolutely amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the subscribe button. If you want to see more Raziel, if you want to see a deck profile, comment tutorial, everything, let me know, and I'll show you guys. Thank you guys for watching the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace.